previously on Walt in PA. I got two two bars on my on my face. And I can't really tell which one's which. There's a memory card and then there's a battery level. One of them is really low. Now if all right, well, <laughs> as I was saying, right before the battery cut off, I can't tell whether it's the the memory card or the battery that's about dead, and then beep, 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 it died. Uh, technical difficulties. Greetings, YouTube. This is Mike Haley 7 and you are watching Walt in PA. Man, it's, it's actually, today's really nice. Not just because of the weather, but for, for a change, I don't feel like I need to race home to get anything done. Um, my wife has some stuff to do tomorrow. She's meeting a friend. I think they're going out for coffee or something. And um, so like she, she didn't really care what time I came back home today as long as I was home tomorrow for her to you know take care of the kids while she went out to visit her friend so um, like there's no I don't feel like rushed to get back home from that sense and I don't have anything to do for work for a change it's been uh, kind of a hellish week but everything's done and for a change nothing is pressing which is really nice so I'm, I, I think I've told this story before, but I don't, I don't remember how in-depth I got. Um, I own my own business. Uh, a partner and I went in together to start a business that does mill workshop drawings. So we, we produce the production drawings for custom cabinets, stuff that you'd see in like uh, banks and restaurants, hospitals. Uh, primarily uh, plastic laminate. We do some residential stuff, but the, the bulk of our work is commercial and thus plastic laminate. In the early days, the business was really small. It was just me and my partner. We were doing pretty much all of the work. And we got to a point where we were, our limiting factor was the number of hours there was in the, in the course of a day. So we were able to find some work and fill our schedule, but we could only take on so much without blatantly lying to them and telling them, oh yeah, we can handle this project knowing full well that we would turn it over late. Very proud to say that in the three years we've been in business, we've only ever had to ask for an extension on a project one time because we were running behind. So anyway, um, so the limiting factor was the the lack of hours that we had available so we were we were both are and were were at the time still working full-time jobs so we would work all day and then we would do as much as we could at night for the business while we tried to slowly grow it well when we started to realize that we were we were having to pass up on larger jobs because we didn't have the manpower to do it we started looking at help and we've since brought in some help and we we've over the course of the past couple of years we keep running into situations that are that are testing us so we'll we'll get offered this giant mega job to do and we, we're not sure if we have the manpower, so we, so in order to compensate for the lack of manpower, we come up with a new system, or we we tweak our system to become more efficient. It's it, it's uh, it's a necessity. You know, you've got to be able to adapt if you want the business to grow. So we've gotten pretty good at that, where we 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 identify a challenge. And we make some tweaks to the system to become more efficient to be able to handle a higher work volume. And the problem with that is when you become more efficient, you need more volume to stay busy. So the position that we find ourselves in quite frequently is we're constantly looking for work because we have to feed the machine that we've created. 
And usually that means that my partner and I are really busy with, well, pretty much a little of everything. So we are the quality control department. We are the sales department. We are you know, customer service. We're, we're doing pretty much everything that we can while trying to get our team to do as much of the actual drawing as we can because you can't bring in new business if you're spending all your time working on the current work like you, you the, the the old adage is you need to work on your business not in your business and that's a uh, kind of a problem that we that we face so we're, we're always busy there's always something to do last week was was pretty rough um, we just we had a couple of tight deadlines you know the light at the end of the tunnel all of the pressing stuff is done and for a change I have a Saturday where I don't feel rushed to get something done uh, I feel I feel compelled to pull up next to that guy and let him know that his left rear tire is going flat like an axe throwing place back there I guess that's becoming all the rage have a beer and throw an axe I think that blue elephant is a Chinese restaurant or an Asian restaurant of some sort Asian cuisine I've heard good things about it my wife and I were talking about getting, trying to get down there at some point there's a lot of cool little places in Pottstown. The problem, though, is this whole pandemic has made made everything a challenge. This building right here, which is what the Montgomery County Community College signs, used to be uh, Kiss Cycles. Motorcycle place. My father-in-law bought his Goldwing there. They were long out of business. I don't know if they were struggling or the owner had just been in business long enough that he just decided it was time to to retire. I hate all these traffic lights. I'd this is why I enjoy being on the backcountry road, <laughs> you know, swaying along with the curves, taking in the scenery, all the stop and go stuff. That Pottstown Manor is supposed to be an interesting historical building. I don't know anything about it or even how to get there. I don't ever recall seeing any kind of driveway or anything. Ah, the adult outlet. Every city's got one. <laughs> and the guy with the flat is going to the porn shop. <laughs> I mean, that's the strangest thing to see those bookstores still in uh, still in existence. I guess they sell more than books, but um, you know, with with the privacy of the internet and all the things that you can order online, it's amazing that th those places are still in existence. But I guess sex sells, so I guess they, they'll always be in business. <laughs> <laughs> 